Hello everyone! Today we will going to solve, enjoy, and learn. This is Teacher Precious and welcome to our grade 7 mathematics class. Our lesson for today is all about multiplication of polynomials. Let's start with the multiplication of a polynomial by a monomial. When we say polynomial, it is an algebraic expression consisting of a term or a sum of terms, each of which is either a number or a product of a number and the positive integral power of an unknown quantity. Then when we say monomial, it is an algebraic expression with only one term. Before we proceed to our uh, examples, let's have first a review on how to multiply variables. So kapag nagmumultiply po tayo ng variables, we will just add the exponents. So ngayon, let's have the first example. So simplify 4 times the quantity 3n minus 2. So dito, gagamitin lang po natin yung ating distributive property or yung ating tinatawag na distributive method. So i-distribute lang po natin yung 4 doon sa mga nasa loob ng parenthesis which is the 3n minus 2. 2. Okay, so yung multiply na po ngayon natin. So, we have 4 times 3n minus 4 times 2. Okay, so 4 times 3 will give us 12 times n. Then, we have 12n. Then, minus 4 times 2 will give us 8. So, yung ating final na answer will be 12n minus 8. Now, let's have your second example. So, meron tayo dito um, 4a square times the quantity 3a plus 5. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, i-distribute lang po natin yung ating 4a squared doon sa ating mga nasa loob ng parenthesis na 3a and 5. Okay, so start na po tayo. So, 4 times 3 will give us 12. Then, just copy po yung ating variable na a, then add the exponent. So, 2 plus yung exponent natin dyan na 1 will give us 3. So, yung ating 4a squared times 3a will give us 12a cubed. The next, yung 4a squared, i-multiply naman po natin doon sa ating positive 5. So, copy lang natin yung ating um, operation na addition. Then, 4 times 5 will give us 20. Then, since wala po tayong variable doon sa 5, then copy na lang po natin yung ating a squared. So, ganun lang po siya kapag uh, ganyan po yung ating given na example. Now, let's have naman po yung ating pangatlong example. So, simplify negative 8cd squared times the quantity 3c squared d raised to 4 minus 7c cubed d. Okay, so dito, i-distribute po ulit natin yung ating negative 8cd squared doon sa ating mga nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, unahin po natin itong um, dalawang yan. Okay, so we have negative 8 times 3 will give us negative 24. Then, copy po yung ating variable na c. Then, tignan po ngayon natin yung mga exponent nila. I-add lang po natin. So, dito meron tayong 1 na exponent. Then, 1 plus 2 will give us 3. So, we have 3. Now, doon naman tayo sa variable D. So, copy lang natin yung ating variable na D. Then, add the exponent which is 2 plus 4 will give us 6. So, yan po yung ating pinag-multiply na 8 or negative 8CD squared and 3c squared d raised to 4. Now, proceed naman tayo sa pangalawa, which is negative 8c d squared times yung negative 7c cubed d. Okay, so dito, negative times negative will give us positive. Then, i-multiply lang po natin yung 8 and 7. So, 8 times 7 will give us 56. Then, Copy po yung ating variable C, then iyan po ulit natin yung mga exponents. So, 1 plus 3 will give us 4. Then, the last one, which is uh, the variable D, add po yung exponent, 2 ayon. Then, ito po, meron po tayong 1 dyan na exponent. Then, we have 2 plus 1 will give us 3. So, yan na po ngayon yung ating final na answer. So, we have negative 24C cubed, D raised to 6 plus 56C raised to 4 
d cubed. So, ganun lang po siya, kasimple. Ngayon, proceed naman tayo sa ating next example. So, we have there, simplify 9y times the quantity 5y cubed minus 3y plus 5. So, una, ay i-distribute natin yung 9y doon sa ating 5y cubed. So, 9 times 5 will give us 45. Then, copy yung ating variable na y. Then, in po natin yung exponents, which is um, 1 and 3, kaya po naging 4 yan. Kaya yung ating 9y times 5y cubed is uh, 45y raised to 4. Next, let's have the um, 9y times negative 3y naman po. So, 9 times negative 3 will give us negative 27. Then, just copy po yung ating variable na y. Then, add the exponent. Meron po tayo yung exponent dyan na 1, tsaka 1 po. Then, 1 plus 1 will give us 2. Kaya yung ating sagot dyan ay um, negative 27y squared. Then, the last one, 9y times positive 5. Then, 9 times uh, 5 will give us 45. Then, since wala pong kasamang variable yung ating 5, then, i-copy na lang po natin yung ating variable na y. Wala na po tayong i-add na exponent. So, ganun lang po kasimple yung ating pang-apat na example. Ngayon, proceed naman tayo sa ating example number 5. So, we have there negative 3m cubed n raised to 4 times the quantity m square minus 5m raised to 5 plus 7m minus 8. So, una ay didistribute natin is, uh, yung ating negative 3m cube and raised to 4 doon sa ating m square. So, dyan, since wala tayong um, coefficient doon sa ating m square, then just copy na lang po yung ating negative 3. Then, we have to copy the uh, variable m. Then, i-add po natin yung exponent doon. So, we have 3 plus 2 will give us 5. Then, since wala pong uh, kasama na variable n, yung ating m squared, then just copy na lang po yung n raised to 4. Kaya yung sagot po natin dyan ay negative 3m raised to 5, n raised to 4. Then next, let's have naman po yung ating pangalawang term. So we have negative 3m cubed, n raised to 4 times negative 5m raised to 5. So una dyan, we have to multiply negative 3 sa negative 5. So negative 3 times negative 5 will give us positive 15. Then, copy po yung ating variable na m. Then, add the exponent, which is 3 and 5. Kaya po siya naging 8. Then, wala po ulit kasamang n yung ating uh, m raised to 5. Kaya po, copy na lang po yung ating n raised to 4. Then, next, we have now negative 3m cubed n raised to 4 times 7m. So, multiply muna natin yung ating mga coefficients. Yung ating negative 3 and 7. So, negative 3 and positive 7. Ang sagot po ay negative 21. Then, just copy yung ating variable m. Add natin yung exponents. Kaya po, 3 plus 1 will give us 4. Then, wala ulit kasamang n yung ating m. So, just copy na lang po yung ating n raised to 4. Then, the last one, we have to multiply negative 3m raised to 3, n raised to 4 sa negative 8. Okay, so negative 3 times negative 8 will give us positive 24. Then, since wala pong kasamang mga variables yung ating 8 or yung ating negative 8, then just copy na lang po yung m cube and raised to 4. So, ganun lang po kung paano mag-multiply uh, ng polynomial sa mga monomial. After the multiplication of a polynomial by a monomial, now let's proceed naman po sa multiplication of a polynomial by another polynomial. In multiplying polynomial by a polynomial, meron po tayo ditong two methods na pwedeng gamitin. So first is the horizontal method and the second one ay vertical method. So mamaya i-apply po natin yan sa ating mga example. Now, let's proceed to our first example. So, dito, gagamitin po natin yung ating tinatawag na vertical method and horizontal method. Uh, vertical method, tinawag siyang vertical kasi nga isusulat natin sila vertically. Then, imumultiply lang po natin sila na parang dun sa way natin on how to multiply numbers. Okay? So, isulat muna natin sila vertically. So, we have 4x minus 4. Imumultiply daw po natin siya sa... 2x plus 5. 
Okay, so ang uunahin natin dito ay mumultiply po natin yung ating 4x and 2x. So, 4 times 2 will give us 8. Then, copy yung ating variable x. Then, i-add lang po natin yung ating exponent. Kaya, magiging 8x squared. The next step is to multiply 2x doon sa ating negative 4. So, we have negative 4 times 2 will give us negative 8. Then, copy lang po yung ating variable na x. Then, the next one is 5 times 4x. So, dito, itatapat natin yung magiging sagot natin dito rin sa katapat ng ating 5. So, we have 5 times 4 will give us 20 or positive kasi nga po, positive silang pareha. So, positive 20, then just copy po yung ating variable na x. Then, the last one is to multiply negative 4 sa ating positive 5. So, negative times positive will give us negative 20 po. Yan. Then, parang nag-multiply lang din ng um, numbers, i-add na po natin yung mga yan. Okay. So, eto, wala siyang katapat. So, i-copy lang po natin. So, 8x square. The next is to add negative uh, 8x plus 20x. Since magkaiba po yung kanilang sign, mag-proceed po tayo sa subtraction. So, 20 minus 8 will give us 12. Then, copy lang po natin yung ating variable x. Then, copy the sign of the bigger number. Yung bigger number natin dyan ay 20 which is positive po siya. Then, dito, i-copy lang po natin yung ating negative 20. So, eto na po ngayon yung ating final answer. Uh, kapag ginamit po natin yung ating tinatawag na vertical method. Ngayon, proceed naman po tayo sa ating horizontal method. So, sa horizontal method, gagamit lang tayo dito ng um, foil method. So, unahin natin i-multiply yung ating first term. So, yung ating first terms dyan ay 4x and 2x. So, multiply lang po natin sila. So, 4x times 2x will give us 4 times 2 is 8. Then, copy yung base. Then, add Add natin yung exponent. 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So, yan po yung ating first term. Next is the outer term. So, itong 4x, ito times lang po natin doon sa ating 5. So, we have 4x times 5 will give us, 4 times 5 will give us 20. Then, copy lang po yung ating variable x. Then, inner. So, yung ating inner term dyan ay negative 4 and positive 2x. So, i-multiply lang po natin sila. So, negative 4 times 2x. So, negative 4 times 2 will give us negative 8. Then, copy po yung ating um, variable x. Then, now, we have the L, which is the last term. So, yung ating last term dyan ay 4 and, or negative 4 and positive 5. So, i-multiply lang po natin. Negative 4 times positive 5 will give us simply negative 20. Then, after po nyan, i-combine like terms lang po natin. So, ngayon, yung ating 8x square, since wala po siyang uh, kaparehas na term, then i-copy na lang po natin. 8x square. Then, next is, we have positive 20x. Then, uh, yung ating inner, yung ating uh, sagot doon ay negative 8x. Then, yung ating last term, we have negative 20. Combine lang po natin yung mga parehas na terms. So, ito po yung ating magkaparehas na term dyan. I-ma-minus na lang po natin sila. So, we have copy lang po yung 8x square. Then, we have 20x minus 8x will give us 12x. Then, copy po yung ating negative 20. So, yung ating final na answer using the um, horizontal method or mas madali ay yung ating file method ay 8x square plus 12x minus 20. So, same lang po sila doon sa ating um, ginamit kanina na method which is the vertical method. So, nasa sa inyo na po yan kung ano yung gagamitin nyo. Uh, kung mas comfortable kayo sa vertical, then use the vertical method. Kung mas comfortable kayo sa horizontal or the what we call foil method, then use the foil method. So, yun lang po yun. Ganun lang po siya kadali. Ngayon, proceed naman tayo sa ating second example. Okay, so gamitin ulit natin dito yung ating uh, vertical method and horizontal method. So, unahin natin yung ating tinatawag na vertical method. Isulat muna natin siya as um, vertical or vertically. So, we have 8x squared plus 
plus 7x minus 11. Mumultiply natin sa 2x minus 3. Okay, so dito unahin ulit natin yung ating 2x. I-multiply natin sa 8x squared. So, 2 times 8 will give us 16. Then, copy po yung ating variable x. And the exponent, 2 plus 1 will give us 3. The next is 2x times 7x. So, 2 times 7 will give us um, 14. So, positive po yan. Copy yung ating variable x. Then, at the exponent, magiging 2. Kasi 1 plus 1 is 2. The next, we have 2x times negative 11. So, negative 11 times 2 will give us negative 22. Copy yung ating variable x. The next, we have negative 3. Multiply naman po natin doon sa uh, 8x squared. So, negative 3 times 8 will give us negative 24. Then, x square copy lang po. Since x square itapat po natin siya dito sa ating uh, my x square dito para madali na lang po natin silang i-add mamaya. So, we have negative 24x square. The next, we have to multiply negative 3 sa positive 7x. Uh, so, negative 3 times 7 will give us negative 21. Copy po yung ating variable na x. Then, the last one is to multiply negative 11 sa ating negative 3. So, we have negative times negative is positive. Then, 11 times 3 will give us 33. Then, after po yan, simplify na po natin by adding yung ating mga like terms. Since wala pong katapat ito, then bring down na lang po natin sila. So, we have 16x cubed. Then, we have there, since magkaiba yung ating sign dyan, proceed tayo sa subtraction. So, 24 minus 14 will give us um, 10. Copy yung ating x squared. Then, magbibase tayo sa sign doon sa mas malaking number, which is 24. Then, negative siya. Negative din po yan. Then, now, since dito para silang um, negative, pwede po natin silang i-add. So, we have 22 plus 21 will give us 43. Copy yung ating x. Then, since negative sila, then negative yan. Then, dito, copy na lang po yung 33 kasi wala siyang katapat. So, ito po yung ating magiging answer kapag vertical method po yung ating ginamit. Ganyan lang po yung ating step by step. Now, proceed naman po tayo sa ating horizontal method. Dito, hindi natin pwedeng i-apply yung ating foil method kasi nga kapag foil method, applicable lang po siya sa ating binomial or yung meron lang dalawang terms. Dito kasi yung isang um, itong ating 8x squared plus 7x minus 11 has 3 terms. So, hindi po pwedeng i-apply yung foil method dito. Ang gagamitin po natin ay distributive method. So, itong 8x squared, distribute muna natin dito sa 2x, then uh, doon sa ating negative 3x. So, isa-isahin po natin sila. Okay, so start na tayo. So, 8x squared times 2x will give us, 2 times 8 will give us 16, then copy po yung ating x na variable at the exponent magiging 3. Then next, we have to multiply 8x squared doon sa negative 3. So, we have 8 times negative 3 will give us negative 24. Since wala pong kasama ang variable yung ating 3, then kami na lang po natin yung x square. So, after po nito, proceed naman tayo dito sa 7x. Ito naman ngayon yung i-distribute natin sa ating 2x and sa negative 3. Okay, so 7x times 2x will give us 14x square. The next times negative 3 will give us negative 21x. Tayo sa ating 7x. Proceed naman tayo sa ating negative 11. Distribute natin sa ating 2x, then sa ating negative 3. Or negative 11 times 2x will give us negative 22 x. Then the last one, negative 11 times negative 3 will give us positive 33. Ngayon, combine na lang po natin yung mga parehas ang terms. Okay. So, dito sa ating 16x cube, kung mapapansin nyo, wala po siyang parehas na merong x na variable with the exponent of 3. So, i-copy na lang po natin sila. So, we have 16x cube 
So, cancel na natin yan para hindi kayo malito. Next, we have to, um, eto, simplify natin yung dalawang yan kasi para silang may uh, variable x then with the exponent of 2. So, we have negative 24 plus 14x squared then will give us um, negative 10 kasi magkaiwa silang ng sign. So, i so subtract natin then copy the sign of the bigger number which is negative 24. So, copy lang natin yung x then yung ating exponent na 2. So, na-cancel na po ngayon ito. Tsaka yun. Proceed naman tayo ngayon dito sa ating negative 11, negative 22. Okay, so negative 21, uh, x minus 22 will give us, so change the sign ito, proceed to addition, magiging, we have now, negative 21 plus negative 22 will give us negative 43, then copy po yung ating variable x. Then the last one, since kung papansin nyo, wala po siyang like terms, then i-copy na lang po natin siya as positive 33. So, same lang din po yung ating nakuhang sagot doon sa vertical method na ginawa natin kanina. So, dito ang ginamit po natin ay distributive method or pwedeng tawagin ito as horizontal din po. Kasi nga, um, pag anon din po natin siya, sinod as horizontally. Yan. So, ito distributive or horizontal method. So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. Ngayon, proceed na tayo sa ating last example. Okay, so unahin ulit natin yung ating tinatawag na vertical method. So, isulat muna natin sila vertically. So, we have 5x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6x Minus 4, i-multiply daw po natin siya sa 3x minus 2. Okay, so unahin natin i-multiply yung ating 3x doon sa ating 5x cubed. So, 5 times 3 will give us 15. Then, copy lang po natin yung ating variable x. Then, add the exponent. 3 plus 1 will give us 4. Then, after that, we have 3x and 2x square. So, 2 times 3 will give us 6. Then, copy yung ating variable x. Add the exponent. 2 plus 1 will give us 3. Then, next, we have 6x times uh, 3x. So, 6 times 3 will give us positive 18. Copy yung ating uh, variable. Add the exponent. So, 1 plus 1 will give us 2. Then, the last one we have 3x times negative 4. So, it will give us negative 12x. Okay, so natapos na tayo sa 3x. Proceed naman tayo ngayon dito sa ating negative 2. So, negative 2 times 3x cubed, it will give us um, negative uh, 10x cubed. So, cubed po, then itapat po natin siya dito. So, we have negative 10x cubed. Then next, we have negative 2 times positive um, 2x squared, then we have negative 4x squared. Then next, we have negative 2 times 6x, it will give us negative 12x. Then the last one, we have 4 times or negative 4 times negative 2, it will give us positive 8 po. Then after yan, simplify natin by adding them. Okay, so, yung ating 15, walang katapat. So, i-copy na lang po natin. 15x raised to 4. Then, next, we have, um, eto, since magka magkaiba po yung kanilang sign, then, proceed ulit tayo sa subtraction. So, 10 minus 4 will give us, or 10 minus 6 will give us 4. Then, since uh, mas malaki yung 10, and yung sign niya is negative, then negative po yan. Copy lang po yung ating x cube. Then next, we have also there na magkaiba yung sign. Then proceed ulit tayo sa ating subtraction. So, 18 minus 4 will give us 14. Then copy the sign of the bigger number which is 18 na positive. So, positive yan. Copy po yung ating x square. Then next, we have negative 12x plus negative 12x. Parehas po silang negative. Pwede po nating i-add. Then copy lang yung sign na negative. So, 12 plus 12 will give us 24, copy lang po yung ating variable x. 
Then, uh, since walang kasama yung ating 8, then, uh, you bring down na lang po natin siya. So, ito na po yung ating magiging sagot using the vertical method. Okay, ngayon po sito dito tayo sa ating horizontal method. So, parang doon sa ating example number 2 kanina, magdi-distribute po ulit tayo dito, hindi po natin gagamitin yung ating um, foil method. So, una, distribute muna natin yung 5x cubed doon sa ating 3x tsaka sa negative 2. Okay, so we have 5x cubed uh, times 3x will give us 15x raised to 4. Next is 5x cubed times negative 2 will give us negative 10x cubed. Then, after po yan, natapos na tayo dito, proceed naman tayo sa 2x squared na i-distribute natin doon sa ating 3x tsaka doon sa ating negative 2. So, we have 2x squared times 3x will give us um, positive 6x cubed. Then, next we have 2x squared times negative 2. It will give us negative 4 x square. Then, natapos na tayo dyan. Proceed naman tayo ngayon dito sa ating 6x. So, yan, i-distribute ulit natin sa 3x, then sa negative 2. Okay, so 6x times 3x will give us positive 18x square. Then, next, we have 6x times negative 2 will give us negative 12x. Then, after nito, doon naman tayo sa negative 4, distribute ulit natin sa 3 and, or sa 3x, tsaka sa negative 2. Okay, so we have negative 4 times positive 3x will give us negative 12x. Then, the last one, we have negative 4 times negative 2 will give us positive 8. Okay, so natapos na natin i-distribute ngayon. Uh, proceed naman na tayo doon sa ating pagkocombining like terms. Okay. So, we have 15x raised to 4. Wala siyang kasama. Bring down na lang po natin. Then, next, we have negative 10x cubed plus 6x cubed. Since magkaiba sila ng um, sign, proceed tayo sa subtraction. So, negative 10 or 10 minus uh, 6 will give us 4. Copy natin yung x cube then copy the sign of the bigger number within so negative yan then after yan proceed naman po tayo doon sa ating negative uh, 4x squared then plus 18x squared since magkaiba po ulit yung kanilang sign then isusubtract po natin so 18 minus 4 will give us uh, 14 copy natin yung ating x squared then sign na mas malaki is positive 18. So, magiging positive 14x square yan. So, cancel. Cancel. Next, we have um, negative 12 minus 12. So, change the sign of the subtrahen. Proceed to addition. So, negative 12 plus negative 12 will give us negative 24x. Then, the last one, since wala pong kasama yung ating positive 8, i-copy na lang po natin siya. Positive 8. So, same lang din po doon sa ating nakuhang sagot uh, using the vertical method. So, ganun lang po kasimple on how to uh, multiply polynomial by another polynomial. And that's how to multiply polynomial. So, una kanina yung ating multiplication of a polynomial by a monomial. So, ang ginamit lang po natin doon ay distribution property or yung ating tinatawag na distributive method. Then, the second one is the uh, multiplication of a polynomial by another polynomial wherein pwede natin gamitin yung tinatawag natin uh, vertical method uh, which is ang um, ginagawa natin doon ay uh, ina-arrange natin sila vertically then, i-multiply lang natin sila as uh, parang numbers. Then, yung ating horizontal method, wherein pwede natin i-apply yung tinatawag natin foil method kapag dalawang terms lang yung nandoon. Then, kapag more than two terms na kasi ang ginagamit ulit natin doon ay distributive method or yung tinatawag natin distribution property. 
And that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you understand it well. So for your um, questions or clarifications, kindly um, comment down below or directly PM me so that I will try my best to answer it properly and correctly. So that's end our lesson for today. God bless everyone.